Jean-Manic Dumas. From theme four. Yes. Uh, hello. Good afternoon. So I'm representing a team uh, with Louis Mulot, Aswin Van Oyen, and Francoise Rutkowski, Miranda Stienstra, and Ariane Van Vitelosein. I'm Jean-Malik Dumas, and we are uh, here to discuss uh, technology strategy. Uh, when actually was the first meeting, I was reading the dimension of the strategy. And I was very surprised because all organizations successful organization I'm in contact with, consulting, but businesses that are not necessarily in technology. Like for example, accounting firms are not necessarily in technology by itself. They are all developing a technology strategy. Why? Because technology is one element that has the most impact in our life and our society now. So most organizations understand that they have to specifically develop some strategy about how are they dealing with technology. Uh, the ideas I will present now are ideas that are moving Tilburg University from being passive toward technology and adopting what others are developing toward being proactive and actually being a leader in the field. So let's first look at, uh, well, very quickly, my definition of strategy that I'm used is very broad. It has not to do about electronics, specifically computer. It's things that people are doing that are improving the realm of practical human possibility. So we are not only speaking here of inventing electronic or equipment like this, but it's more general on all the processes, all activity to improve what people are doing. Uh, so there are several impacts that technology have on society. And looking a bit further than what we have now, we may actually try to discuss what does it mean for Tilburg University? The first thing that technology is doing right now is changing our relationship to space. What happens is activity could be done in many different places. Now sometimes you are teaching and uh, you may have Skype meeting with students, mentoring meeting, you may have video conferencing, so our relationship to place is different. Our relationship to time is different because activity, as you can make and take activity in different places, then activities are fragmented. Most of our students don't do a project in one time. They do it five minutes at one moment, five minutes in the train, and in other uh, different places. And the third one is it's changing the capability to connect people. Because tasks become more interconnected, participants are scattered, and interactivity is possible at a distance. What does it mean for Tilburg University? First, it means that if place is losing importance little by little, a strong identity is very important. And I see it as a natural opportunity for Tilburg because let's face it, when you have, uh, maybe it's not the case for our Dutch colleagues, but when you are French and you have to say you work in Tilburg, unless people are in education, everybody would ask you, where is Tilburg, okay? and they don't have a clue if it's in Europe, in South America, or in Antarctica, okay? So, no, it says something even with American, yeah. It says that the place is not well known, which I think we all agree. And uh, when you say I go to University of Amsterdam, yeah, people would say it means something for them, they at least have a place. But because space is losing uh, influence, uh, we need to develop a stronger identity. Then uh, what technology is doing is because interactivity is possible at a distance, we can scale teaching activity. And it's not science fiction. Uh, last, I mean, a couple weeks ago, there was a political meeting in France and one candidate was in Lyon and his hologram was presented in Paris. So he was interacting to two audiences at the same time. And this is not something of the future, it's already happened a few weeks ago. So interaction, scalability, numbers of people still with interaction is becoming possible. And because of this, and because of the setting of the Dutch uh, education system, which means that the government is funding everything, when the government would realize that you may not need to have five strategic courses in the Netherlands, but you may have one 
and it could still be interactive, scaled up, then the government would actually put a huge pressure to actually for the universities to partner and limit the number of duplication from a very purely financial pressure. So uh, one effort, uh, one mistake most people do with innovation is the first version of an innovation is usually less performance than the previous, like digital photography. The first digital camera was much less performance than the previous. But what is coming up is the new open courses online will be interactive and they will have another element, which is they would have a control environment. What I mean here is now when I'm teaching, I'm competing with WhatsApp, Facebook, the mobile and anything. When we move to extended reality, mixed reality, virtual reality, I'm in a control environment, which is interesting for education, but it's interesting for research as well. So what we propose is to lead the, the, that Tilburg would develop into a leading institution concerning the role and future of technology in education. And I'm here citing a few things, and because of time I would move, of things not to be passive with technology, but be proactive. And uh, uh -huh. a community of individuals trained to use technology in a healthy, efficient, and sustainable way. And finally, a leading institution concerning the impact of technology on society. Thank you for your attention.